Good day, everyone. Um, this is my first repair video. Uh, I have a Dell Inspiron 7559 laptop. I can sing its praises on many things, many, many things. But I've consistently had monitor issues. I was able to get them replaced under warranty for a while, but unfortunately it's long since been out of warranty. I was able to find a fairly cheap replacement screen around uh, $70 from laptopscreen.com and they sent an interesting offer which was a $20 rebate on my purchase if I do this video so I just want to disclose that it's kind of semi-sponsored in a way but not really. Uh, this is just to get a rebate of my own accord. I don't have to do this. The problem I'm having with my monitor is not terribly easy to see from this point of view, but the left side of the screen randomly has dips in color as if the backlight is giving out. So it's most noticeable on gray screen. So as you can see, the screen is kind of flickering and dark on one side. Uh, so that's the problem. I'm trying to fix right here. This is actually quite an easy fix. Uh, all you need is something to pop off the front plate of the monitor, such as a pick or a credit card, and you need a Phillips head screwdriver. So I'm gonna go ahead and shut this down and get this started. I will pop back in after taking the front, uh, face plate off. All right, so it kind of makes some horrifying cracking noises while you're doing that. Don't worry too much about it. Yes, this case is actually pretty fragile and low quality, um, despite the internal components being quite good, but that's quite normal. It's just plastic clips being popped off. Anyways, from here, you need to take off the four screws. One, two, three, four. Uh, what's kind of good about this is you don't usually have to worry about supporting the laptop and holding it in place as you're taking it out because it has plastic pieces that it hangs on to. Uh, I don't know if there's a technical name for that. But of course, get yourself like a cup or something to safely store those uh, screws. And here we go. This really isn't terribly difficult. I actually have pretty bad tremors and I'm able to do this pretty easily. Reason I can do this um, pretty easily too is because I've done it once before uh, while diagnosing my monitor's problems. Uh, my fiance has the identical laptop so uh, I popped her screen out to test it with mine, and of course it was the monitor and not the, oops, the mounting, uh, sorry, the, uh, cable attaching the monitor to the motherboard, which was a concern of mine. All right. Ooh. It's not too bad. Don't worry too much about that. Okay. Um, <laughs> so here we have... Uh, sticker tab that's holding the monitor or the cable in. You need to peel this back all the way and don't pull up to detach this cable. You want to pull it back firmly and with even pressure on both sides. There you go. So that's all that, that all there is to um, taking the old monitor out. 
if you want to preserve it for whatever reason, make sure you put it on a soft surface at this point. All right, now it's time to take a, I haven't even opened this yet, uh, take a look at the new monitor. And inspect it. Okay, it has a plastic uh, protective coating. It says don't touch on the bottom, but I believe that's for this section. I believe I am able to install that before removing the protective coating. It looks like it fits pretty close to the screen, so actually I'm going to leave it on. Now we're going to reattach the cable kind of the opposite way we detach the other cable. You want to line it up and then just pull on this tab and you'll hear probably a little click or two as the cable gets seated and then it will be in place. So from here, it's really just a reverse of the previous steps. Uh, you might want to stick this down. Uh, now line it up with the plastic mounting brackets. All right. And then you're going to want to screw it back in. All right. Like I said, I'm I'm pretty shaky and tremor, so this this might be a bit painful to watch for some people, but I may do, and that should speak to how easy this repair is. All right, uh, so the screen's put back in now. Uh, I don't want to have this get lost behind the faceplate, so I'm actually going to just take the protective layer off right now and put the screen back, sorry, the front plate back on. This is always a bit of a pain. I might not be able to get everything uh, snapped in down below. Uh, perfectly for this video, but I'll do my best. Kind of just snaps into place. It's these ones down here that are a bit more difficult. All right, I guess it's time for the moment of truth. Let's boot her back up. I recently um, just reset my computer back to default, so it sometimes takes a while to boot right now just for the updates and such. Well, I've got my pointer back, for the most part. This is unrelated to the screen. 
Ah, we're back. Well, unfortunately, I think I can already see one issue. There is a dead pixel approximately right here on my screen. I'm going to bring up a larger bright screen. All right, well, everything's reinstalled now. Then it was indeed the monitor. The flicker, uh, the darker issue, the uh, darker side of the screen issue is gone. It's no longer flickering or anything. Unfortunately, there is a single dead pixel on the monitor after checking in close to the center of the screen. That's somewhat bothersome, uh, something to consider if that thing really bothers you. But of course, that is a risk with any monitor you get, whether it's a replacement LCD for a laptop or desktop monitors. Otherwise, everything went pretty smoothly. This is actually, as you can see, a really easy repair job. No complaints. I did get a lot of my initial instruction from another video, which I'll link in the description, uh, just to give credit where credit's due. He, he did a repair on a similar type of laptop, uh, also uh, LCD re replacement. But other than that, that's everything. There you go, that's how you replace the LCD screen on a Dell Inspiron 7559 computer. Thanks everyone, see you next time. Hey everybody, um, just wanted to do this last uh, little bit before I close out the video. Uh, unfortunately, after trying a bunch of different remedies, I've determined that this pixel is indeed dead. It's not just dirt on the screen or a stuck pixel. Um, that's unfortunate. I will be contacting laptop screen for this issue. Most companies won't honor replacements unless there's a critical threshold of dead pixels on the screen. Uh, but we'll see if they'll, if they'll do anything and I'll certainly update the video if they do. Uh, other than that, once again, See ya uh, next time. I'll probably do a synth repair or something. I've been doing a lot of those lately. Cheers.